Hello, I'm Christina Hutchinson. And I'm Corinne Fisher. And this is another installment of Did, Did That Help? I'm gonna be mean. <laughs> Uh, you want me to do this one? Yeah, it's longer. Okay. Uh, did that help? My boyfriend moves in with me and became completely incompetent, or is it me? It probably him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, Kurt and Christina. I'm a 24-year-old cis white female. I'm an educator working on my master's degree, and I currently have two jobs. I'm a longtime listener and a fan of everything you two do, and I'm the Without a Country listener that suggested the name Wackos. Oh, wow. Great job. Thank you. Uh, my boyfriend is a 25-year-old cis white man and a retired Marine. Retired. Pictured attached. Picture attached. We've been together for three years and living together for two. When we moved in together slowly, but also very suddenly, all of the responsibilities of our life together fell to me. Mm. I'm not just talking- I have three jobs. Yeah, I'm not just talking all of the house cleaning, which seems like enough to drive me crazy some days. I'm talking the complete care of all, all of our pets, two cats and one rambunctious dog, the grocery shopping, the meal planning, the bill paying, the social responsibilities, what? What's He's retired. What are social responsibilities? You mean like making it to like tea time with other couples? Just don't do that. Um, I have told him I feel this is unacceptable and he agrees. <laughs> Okay, that's a start. <laughs> He's given me lots of excuses for not participating in our life, like not feeling well, not feeling like he can jump in, feeling like he makes processes more difficult, bar face emoji. Things will ebb in the direction of change, then settle back where they started. On top of all this, this man absolutely chats my head off. It's quarantine times. I know we're together simply way too much, but I have two jobs and a master's degree. I'm working on 100% from home, plus all the aforementioned responsibilities he has no jobs leaving him sitting at home playing video games and monopolizing me in the hour plus long conversations about absolute bullshit it's terrible reminiscing on high school what he would do if he was rich is he oh my little, god is he a little <laughs> off um if I owned, he's a real dreamer if Girl. I owned an exotic animal this is the one I would own <laughs> uh, well you, everyone says snake but no you don't know that there's species of monkey that you can own in the rainbow <laughs> How he wants to get rich, videos he sees on TikTok, <laughs> you name it. Is he bored? Does he not understand that I have jobs? Again, <laughs> uh, I've expressed the issue verbally and I'll shamefully tell you it was only after he got upset and told me I seemed quote grumpy. I explained to him that it's really distracting for me when he marches into my office and starts ranting while I'm trying to work. I'm usually attempting to focus on something in between the million other things I'm doing. Is this a uniquely COVID-19 time problem I shouldn't worry about in the grand scheme? Girl, you're in the grand scheme. Run, girl, run! I've tried to find Are you married? contentment married. by focusing my thinking on what I do, get out of my <laughs> relationship with this person and reminding myself that I'll have all these responsibilities whether I'm in a relationship or not. No, but for won't. just yourself, it doesn't feel the bitch. same. But I it feels like, amazing. But I feel like I'm running in circles constantly. I often get behind in my classes because it just seems like there aren't enough hours in the day. I love this person. Yeah, you really? Just, you just added that in at the end because you felt you had to. <laughs> He's my person. Well, he in talks so... to me a lot. <laughs> yeah, you don't even like those his stories. <laughs> He's my person in so many ways, but I feel like I'm constantly dragging the weight of responsibilities that could be shared. What the fuck do I do to break up with him? But I would really love to hear your thoughts, even if it's a roast. Love you, girls. Okay. All right. We're going to need to, you're going to need to sit down. Get. I'm so mad. Okay. You're 24 years old. Do you think this is going to get better? If you stay in this relationship, as you Because it won't. It's not going to. Do you think that as men age, they all of a sudden go, you know what? I'm going to learn to love doing the dishes. Why did he retire at 25? Mm. Why did he retire at 25? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he got injured or something. I can understand. Okay. I can understand. Because um, my dad was drafted and he retired at like 45. And that's young for retired. But 25? It's retired? Also, I retired? I imagine it's a lot of mental trauma being a Marine. That being said, that there's other things that you do after you retire from like that another job. job. You know, there's something else that's very common. You do something or at least fucking get in, you know, deep into get a hobby, hobby. a he club, is, join a club. He's not your child. It is not your job to entertain him. There are so many boundaries that are out of whack here. Number <laughs> one, a boyfriend and a son. Girl. Yeah, he, he shouldn't be coming into your office uh, at all. And certainly with not without knocking like that. There needs to be places in the home that this is your workspace. Yeah, you say you're especially because you're on top of each other anyway, because quarantine, you're, you're falling behind in your work. Also, I'm going to say it. You're better looking than him. You don't need this. Oh, he's cute. But I mean, you're really hot. Nah, you're better looking. You don't need it, this. It doesn't matter. But he's, the point is, 
tall and you're and you're and you're convincing yourself that means something. Um, <laughs> it's a chiseled it's draw. Common. <laughs> uh, yeah. What the fuck? Mm -mm. What the fuck? Ah. I feel like a ba you you you're listing all the job descriptions of a babysitter. Yeah, this isn't for a grown man. <laughs> yeah, this is you, you know you said he's your person in so many ways, but what one ways? Of the, one of the main and non-negotiable ways someone must be your person in a relationship is that they split the responsibilities of being in the relationship that you both apparently want to be in, and he is not doing that. Therefore, yeah. he is not your person. And uh, your person will give you space when they know that you need it. Even mm -hmm. uh, luckily, if you're lucky without you having mm -hmm. to say, but if you say it, they'll respect it. And this motherfucker don't. He he keeps asking things of you and giving you nothing in return. It's absolutely unfair to you. You've already uh, verbalized after, you know, he said that you were grumpy. Hmm, wonder why. Uh, it's because of him! Uh, you know, you verbalized that he agrees, and but he's not going to do anything unless... I guess the only thing left to do is you can give him... Um, what's the word when you, when you say... Time out? No, the word you say, you got to do this or I'm leaving. Duties? Homework? Um, uh, some, Chores. Um, um, no. <laughs> Ultimatum. Yeah. So yeah. I, I was like, the end sounds like mum mum. I like, li I, during quarantine, have lost so much of my vo vocabulary. It's actually not funny, but we'll work on that later. I think there's some brain damage. Um, <laughs> Okay, uh, but yeah, that's what you break up with them. You already knew you have to do that because you put it at the end of the email. Yeah, this is you have the you have the the life of an unhappy forty five year old woman, and you're twenty four. You don't need this. Get out of that, Stop girl. It. Hi, Corinne and Christina. You're both gems. Thanks for the work you do. Thank you. Uh, I'd love your advice. I don't know how to react to my female friend's comments about my boyfriend. <laughs> I slapped that bitch in the face, but that's not what we're supposed to do. My boyfriend is a PhD student at a prestigious university and is a smart cookie. He recently got a great job post-grad and I had a friend congratulate me. I think uh, it's great he's got his shit together and is making career moves. It pisses me off that a friend congratulated me for dating someone with those credentials, as if I had accomplished something by dating him. It is gross and insulting. I am stumped on how to react to those comments. Okay, here's what you do. You make the other person own what they just assumed by saying that. So you could say something like to the effect of, are you congratulating me for who I'm dating? And then just pause and they'll have to think about what they just said. Yeah. And I also think probably like, they didn't, they probably didn't mean it to piss you off. This is just a sore spot for you. And I get it because it's also a sore spot for me. Yeah. Um, I hate being referred to and I, and I try really hard not to, you know, re refer to people at, you know, like when I'm, when it, they're like, oh, that's so-and-so's girlfriend. And so I really try hard to never introduce someone as if their number one credential is being a partner to someone. Uh, we see that in the media a lot. A lot of people are like, who's, you know, Brad Sutton's wife. And you're like, like what? That's like a whole per human being with a whole life and whole dreams. Yeah, sometimes wives get referred to as Mrs. Guy's name, and I'm like, mm, buck stops there, buddy. Right. Well, I mean, that's like a oh, that's an old school thing that just like people don't do anymore. Hopefully um, not. Yeah, because I thought this was gonna be then some rant about how like she was calling your boyfriend ugly or something. So she's just you know. Uh, making it seem like you were dating someone uh, with certain credentials is an achievement, which has been going on since the beginning of time. It's tiresome attack, but I don't think this person was like out to fucking get Yeah, you. they might just be regurgitating what society has been doing to women this whole time. And also it's a reflection of straight women in a way because we're always dating such fucking losers. So maybe she was just happy for you that you're not, you're not dating, dating a loser. Yeah, congratulations. Did that help? <laughs>